Watch out, Cooking Mama, because here comes Cooking Amma. <clears throat> because um, Amma also means mom in Tamil and a bunch of other languages. Y yes, I'm funny. At least for the four people who got that joke. Hi folks, I'm Biscuit Ace and I'm back from Limbo to ask and answer one simple question. What is Wenba? Wenba is a narrative cooking game developed and published by Toronto-based Visai Studios. In this game, you get to prepare some fantastic and authentic South Indian dishes while following the story of Wenba, an Indian immigrant mom and her family in 80s Canada. I haven't quite played a game that combines cooking with a story about family. I've never played a game about cooking Indian cuisine either. Having been born and raised in South India myself, I was extremely excited when I saw the trailer for Venba back in 2021 on Wholesome Direct. Having finally played it, it's actually better than I expected and it succeeded in making both my eyes and mouth water. The game's story is set in 1980s Canada and follows a recently migrated South Indian family. You mainly follow and technically play as the titular character Venba, who is the mother of the household. Through her, you learn about why the family moved to Canada, their life back in India, how she met her husband, the hardships they face as an immigrant family, and so much more. You also get to cook a lot of authentic Indian dishes, ranging from idlis, dosa, biryani, and whatnot. And the game actually makes you experience the story through cooking as much as through the writing and dialogue. The story and gameplay are presented to you with a very pretty and colorful um, pastel art style, I guess I can call this, that makes both the characters and the food just pop out. The music is also very well done and feels as authentic as the South Indian food that the game depicts. Now let's talk about Venba's gameplay. Venba has uh, two aspects to it. One is the story that plays out like a visual novel, and the other are the cooking mini games, where each chapter has you preparing different South Indian dishes and restoring the worn out family recipe book. The cooking gameplay involves mini games to first process the ingredients, like mixing or sealing the flour, chopping the vegetables, etc. And then we have to use hints from the family recipe book to figure out the right order of steps to use those ingredients and finish the dish. But as the recipe book is worn out, some of the instructions can be incomplete or missing, leaving you to figure out how to best make the dish by understanding what you're making. If you make a mistake, you can just hit the reset button and then try again as many times as you like. The game does have full controller support, so you can lay back and relax while you cook. The gameplay itself is not too complicated or challenging, but it's really fun. The recipes in the cooking mini games are actually pretty close to how you make these dishes in real life, so that's nice attention to detail. I've seen my mom make a lot of these dishes in real life, and I've actually tried to make some of these myself, so I can vouch for the realistic nature of these dishes. Apart from the cooking puzzles slash mini games, the other half of the gameplay involves following the visual novel style story. While the story is, well, linear, there are some dialogue options and minor choices for you to make that don't really change the story much, but help reveal more information about the story and the characters. Moving on to the art and visuals, Venba uses a very warm and vibrant color palette that nicely complements the colors of the spices in the dishes, bringing everything to life. I feel that the palette and the art style help emphasize the story's themes of familial love and warmth very well. In my opinion, having a creative visual style is more important than complex 3D graphics. And this game is a fine example of that. I find Venba more memorable and pleasing to look at than some of the recent AAA games. It's not a one-to-one -one comparison, as this is a 2D indie game with a significantly smaller scope and budget than several other 3D AAAs. But it does achieve something that the later games often fail at, which is having an aesthetic that stands out and is memorable. The team clearly put a lot of effort into the visuals and the art for the food in particular, which looks very nice. You might be tempted to try these dishes out or even cook them yourselves, 
even if you've never heard them before after playing the game. Moving on to the sound. Holy moly, the sound. I love the OSD so much for this game. I have been regularly blasting the OSD in the background while I'm working or driving or whatever. The very pretty art and animations are further enhanced with the exceptional sound design. From the visual of the pressure cooker to the sizzles of the spices and the bopping Tamil songs they're playing on the radio while you cook, the game sounds so good that I can't help but get lost in it all the time. The music wonderfully captures the kind of tunes you might actually hear on the radio while cooking back in the day in that part of India. They paid so much attention to it that it also captures how the music changed over the eras as the years go by in the story itself. They start off with some calm melodies from the 80s to the more upbeat and funky songs from the 2000s. As I do share a similar cultural background with the game, it's easier for me to notice all of these little things and appreciate them so much more. I don't quite understand the songs in this game because I can't speak Tamil, but regardless, they just slap and I can't help but listen to them all the time. Again, I absolutely love the soundtrack and much kudos to the artist behind it. I highly recommend getting the OST for this game. It's fantastic and getting it is a good way to support the devs. Moving on to the story and writing. While the art, music and the gameplay are all pretty nice, the heart of the game is actually its story. It beautifully depicts the story of an immigrant mom and her family as they try to make Canada their new home. It feels like a love letter to the hard work and dedication that parents put in, particularly migrant parents as well as the struggles that they have to deal with and continue to deal with. I'm not gonna lie, the game did manage to get a tear out of me more than once. The dialogue is also very well done, and it does read like, well, people actually talking to each other. There weren't any exposition dumps or cringe one-liners either. They wrote it well enough to not make me skip the lines, so that's high praise coming from me. The story is pretty well written, and it also feels like it was written from personal experience, making it that much more emotional and relatable. The story also packages some light social critique on how minorities and their culture are often discriminated against or on the opposite end, tokenized. This is portrayed through the experiences of the characters following the good old show don't tell rule. This helps us better understand what the characters are actually going through and maybe even improve our understanding of these social issues. Talking too much about the story's details risks spoilers and also sort of takes away from directly experiencing it together with the art, music, and the cooking. So in gist, it's a heartfelt story about love, family, loss, growing up, and last but not the least, cooking. It's quite well done and I'm very impressed. Lastly, let's just look at the game's settings and performance before we wrap up. Moving on to the options menu, it's actually pretty creative. It shows up as a label on a jar of spices, which is kind of cute. The settings available are pretty basic and include options for controller vibration, camera bob, video resolution, and audio options with separate sliders. As this game is both simple in graphics and gameplay, these options are more than enough in my opinion. Chapter selection is also available if you wish to revisit previously completed chapters. When it comes to performance, Venba runs perfectly fine. It's not a performance intensive game, so it should be playable even on a potato laptop or PC. I personally did not run into any crashes, bugs, or any other performance issues. I didn't notice any performance complaints among the Steam reviews either. All right, over to the conclusion. Venba is a beautiful work of art and a very sweet video game. The advantage of video games as a medium is that they blend music, art, and writing together and have the additional bonus of being interactive. Venba, in my opinion, takes full advantage of this in order to deliver a finely crafted, wholesome, and heartfelt experience. The game doesn't have any filler content or out-of-place mechanics either. It's pretty focused, the devs knew exactly what they wanted to do, and they executed it pretty well. In summary, the story and dialogue of Enba are very well written and can actually make you a little emotional at some points. 
The cooking gameplay is simple, but not simplistic. It's still quite engaging and makes you pay attention to what you're actually cooking. The cuisine and the recipes are very authentic. So much so that you can actually make most of these dishes in real life with the same ingredients and steps. The art and animation are very pretty and charming. The art for the dishes is so well made that it can probably make your mouth water. The sound design and the OST are simply superb and I absolutely love it. The main issue with the game is that it's on the shorter side. It will probably just take you two or maybe three hours to complete. While I do prefer a short yet enjoyable ride over a long drown out one, I still wish there were just more dishes for me to cook and more story for me to follow. In this regard, Venba kind of suffers from its own success. The very fact that it is pretty well made and does so many things so well, it makes me want it to be longer even more. I want more recipes, I want more stories between some of these chapters, more songs and more of Venba and her family. More is not always better, but in this case, please, I want some more. The game's not long enough for me. <laughs> I mostly just have praise for the game, and my only gripe is the fact that it's just two-ish hours long. I love how well made this game is, and also the type of story it's trying to convey. Seldom do I see video games that touch upon my culture, background, or experience. It's rare to even see a single character with a similar background or ethnicity. The only one I can remember from the top of my head is Parvati from The Outer Worlds. But when you do find something that is relatable, it makes you understand why representation matters. And it also reminds one of the wide range of ethnic, cultural, linguistic, and culinary diversity that exists out there in the world. So many people, such rich history, and so many stories to share. Maybe I am just being melodramatic, but Venba made me think about all of these things. It also made me sort of reconsider my own self and uh, reminded me to show more appreciation towards my family and my culture. I hope that you too can feel what I felt through this game. I eagerly look forward to what Visai Studios and everyone associated with this project will cook up next. Venba is available on Steam, Switch, Xbox, and PS5 for $14.99 USD or $22.45 AUD or your regional equivalent. If you have an appetite, wink, for games like Venba, I would also like to recommend Spirit Fair, Coffee Talk, and also Valhalla a cyberpunk bartender action. These three are also some very nice indie games that involve both cooking and, well, a deep narrative experience if you want to call it that. Anywho, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave any suggestions or what game you would like me to cover next in the comments below. I promise that I will not disappear into the limbo yet again. Cooking mama, more like cooking amma. Hey, uh, I'll see myself out. That, that was bad. That was really bad.